right, so we are at the vet and we have a curbside pickup situation. So Doyle is just chilling. He is waiting because I just called and they're gonna be out um, when they can. So it just, the little sign says, like has the phone number and it says, please remain in your vehicle. So, and I think there's five, well, there's five slots on this side, but then there's slots on the other side as well. So there's probably at least seven or eight slots so yeah but Doyle doesn't like the vet it's okay bud he shakes a little bit but he kind of like shakes anyways sometimes I don't know he's just he's been like that for years but he's fine he just when he's nervous and you guys see my see his little tag it's mommy's favorite asshole if I can find the Etsy place I got that from I'll link it because it's epic um, so yeah and then we've got his poo in a bag, in two bags, just because. Because they have to like, you know, the annual exam just to test everything. So, okay, somebody's coming out. So I'll let you go for now, but we'll chat in just a few minutes. Okay, well that was not fun. I actually had to go in with him because of all the notes in Doyle's chart. So if you're ever considering getting a Sheba, just know, just know you're gonna have to do a lot of weird things. So it took him a while. Um, I had to put his, what we like to call a party hat on, which is basically a muzzle, and um, had to do that in the car. Anyway, so while I was trying to do that, he decided to pee on the seat. So hot tip to any dog owners, animal owners, if you got little kids, always have a towel because I put it right under him and it soaked up everything. So I'm leaving it there for now until I get home because I'm not home yet. Um, yeah, and we were able to get his blood drawn and do his little baby nails and all that stuff. So we are good to go, but now it's time to go home and continue working. Um, once we actually got him in his uh, muzzle, it wasn't horrible but um he definitely puts up a fight for sure and um i do have like some like sedative pills to give him like calm like calm your ass down doyle pills but they didn't tell me to give him those and then the vet's like oh you should have given him those i'm like dang it i should have asked so anyways next time i know i'll just give him those i think i have like three more pills left um but they basically just calm him down a little bit but he still gets amped up and like really excited when he comes here anyways so um it helps him just slightly so mm. but um when we're at home and like it's kicking in i mean he looks like he's drunk so <laughs> anyways but yeah so there's a baby booty he got uh his shots he got a shot here and here and um then he got his blood drawn and then one of his legs i can't tell which one now but he did get his blood draw, so that I'll have the results. They said tomorrow or the next day. And then um, his medication refill, I get my medication. It's called Zanisamide. It's for his seizures that he gets. And um, I get that filled at Sam's Club because it's the cheapest place to fill for that specific drug. So they're gonna send that over and they'll call me if there's any like issues or questions or anything. And oh, cool, just started raining. Awesome, okay. So, Doyle and I are gonna go. He's clearly upset with me still. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, but he won't sit down because this is like full of pee, which is absolutely disgusting. Gross. Gross, now I get to clean my car out. Yay, thanks Doyle. You're so helpful. Thanks bud. Wow, you're so nice to me. Oh, anyway, okay, I'm gonna go back to work and I will see you guys after I'm done working. Bye! Well, hi, I am finally done with work, so I'm just saying hello to the vlog. It's been a trying day, you guys. It's been a very trying day. Uh, Doyle is down there. He's kind of moving around. It's, you know, this boy is testing me today and I'm just not here for it. So if you guys are ever, like, thinking about getting a Sheba, um... Today, I don't recommend. Today, I don't recommend. So let's just recap what Doyle's day has been like so far. He has peed in the car, which was great. He diarrheaed 
all over the table at the vet's office. That was awesome. He got his butt wiped by the vet tech. That was great. And then once we got home, he decided to pee in the office right next to me. So let me show you. So that little, hold on, there we go. That little rag right there, he peed right there. He was under the desk and then just got up and started peeing because he's angry with me. Not because he couldn't tell me that he needed to go to the bathroom, but because he's angry with me. So yeah. So then I got my little sprayer out and I sprayed it and put that down and sopped it up and all that stuff and I've sprayed it again now twice. And that's been the day so far. So it's been really frustrating. And uh, now he's comfortably laying in his little baby bed and I put another, like he normally has that blanket that's underneath him kind of bunched up and he likes to stick his nose in there. But um, I don't know, I just put it down like that today. I don't know, maybe that's pissing him off. I have no idea. It's like, dude, your life is so good. <laughs> I would love to have your little baby life, but no. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Doyle is ornery today and which makes me ornery that it's like, oh, I spent like almost $300 to make you mad today. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, just, just wild. I actually just got a text message from um, Sam's Club, which is where I get his seizure medication from. So I communicated with them already. Um, and then I think we're good for delivery now. They usually mail it to me. So I just wanted to call and double check that they could still do that. So they'll be either processing my payment today or tomorrow. So either way is fine. I have like another week left of his medication. So we should be good to go. But yeah. I don't really have much else going on today, like at all. I wish I did. I wish I had something really interesting to talk about, but I don't really have anything interesting to talk about. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. So I got a Simply Gilded order because, <laughs> duh. <laughs> and um, I got the new washies. So here is the new, like, this is the like tie dye stardust collection so this one's kind of like rainbow like the lighter one is kind of rainbowy and then the other one is kind of looks like purpley blue lavender color really pretty they both are like silver with hollow foil i really like them anyway i took the packaging off of those i haven't taken the packaging off of this one yet um but this is the i think they're calling it like the americana popsicle or something um Hold on, let me turn you around, show you a little better. So you can kind of see it a little bit better here. But you know those like red, white, and blue popsicles? It's kind of like, I think that's the look they were going for. Hold on. So yeah, it kind of fades from like red to white and then a little bit of like blue. It's kind of kind of tie dye like the other ones. And it's got, um, I think this is just silver foil. But again, the um, packaging's on it, so I'm not really totally sure. That's fine. But yeah, the set came with the 15, it's a 15 millimeter and then the 10 millimeter. So excited for that. I'm not using this one in my current planner spread. Um, I actually have a plan with me coming up next week for you guys. So I'm um, showing this week and I'll explain all that good stuff in the plan with me because it's a whole thing. So I think what I might do is use this washi for um, the election week in November. I think that would look really nice um, because kind of the patriotic holidays for the most part are kind of behind us a little bit. I'm not sure. I don't know. I might do a patriotic spread or something. I don't know. I don't know. I like a patriotic spread. I really just like red, white, and blue. I think that's just a, a nice little color combo, don't you know? So anyways, but um, yeah, and I'm kind of 
pre, not pre-filming, but pre-idea-ing <laughs> for um, some of my upcoming videos. Like I said, I think I've said this before. I don't know when I've said this. And I pre-film so many videos, you guys, that like I can't keep them all straight of what I've said and what's out. Anyway, July has an enormous amount of content in July. Like regular content, not vlogs. The vlogs will not be happening in July. Um, I may vlog at some point, but that will actually be like a video. So it won't be like a series, like Vloon is a series. Anyway, there's a lot going on. So it's a lot. I actually just turned the page and oh my gosh. Basically, to give you guys a little bit of a sneak, um, I'm uploading and publishing at least three videos a week, if not more, depending on the week. I know it's a big undertaking, but I've pre-filmed a bunch of stuff. We should be good. Um, I've got the first week and a half kind of already figured out. So this week is all done except for one video, which is my Saturday. That's going up on Saturday. Is it going up on Saturday? Yeah, it's going up on Saturday. I can't even talk. That's that washi uh, card video that I talked about yesterday, I think. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet, but I have the footage. And um, to be honest, the editing always takes the longest, you guys. Always takes the longest for me. I don't know about you guys, but anyone that does YouTube, the editing is always like the worst process. It's nice when it's over, but it always takes way longer than you think it's gonna take. So anyways, but yeah, I've got other things going on, other fun things coming up. And then I've actually already pre-filmed some August things too. So yeah, I don't know, I'm just like really pumped. And there's a three day weekend ahead of us. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get some other things done during that time. So maybe pre-film some other videos that I've been wanting to film or like gather things to film a video, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's just, it's a lot, but it's good. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I feel like I'm finally going to be sharing the things I have wanted to share, but just haven't been motivated to sit down and film a video and share it. So I hope you guys like the kind of new direction things are taking. But anyway, like I said, I'm not doing anything interesting tonight. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. Um, I have like a video call thing I need to hop on at like seven, which isn't interesting at all. So I need to do that. But beyond that, I have nothing going on. So I think I'm going to go because I would like to get this video edited. Like I said, editing is the worst. So that's always a challenge. I, us I usually do it in the morning, um, but sometimes I get it done at night. So like yesterday's video I got done last night and it, it uploaded overnight. So then um, I think it was up at like 6 a.m. this morning. So um, just kind of like whenever I wake up and put the little, little itty bitty finishing touches on it, which take me less than five minutes. Um, but that like works out perfectly for me. But anyway, I rambled on way too long in this video and I am uh, just going to go. So I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day of Vloon, you guys. It's the last day. That's wow. Just wow. So we'll get it all wrapped up tomorrow. I will see you guys then. And uh, it's been a really good journey this month. Um, there's been some definite trials and tribulations for sure. Ugh. Uh, but I think it's been good overall considering quarantine and you know the dumpster fire that is 2020 but we're, we're getting through it so anyway Doyle and I say goodbye and um, I will see you guys tomorrow for the last day talk to you then bye guys well folks it's time to kick it old school uh, so you can feel cool <laughs> give it to my baby <laughs>